Hey there everyone. So this time around I'll be reviewing the whole box set of Buddha by Osamu Tezuka. So um, in case you don't know who Osamu Tezuka is, you should certainly look him up. He is one of the um, he is regarded as one of the founding fathers of the modern style of manga in the Japanese culture. And this is a very highly critically acclaimed series of his. Uh, Buddha, it consists of eight books. So I'll, I'll show you all the books in order. Uh, but these are the eight books. I could not fit all of them into the into one frame. So, and I'll show you the slipcase box set as well. And I'll, I'll give you the artwork for that. So yeah, this is the first one. Uh, volume one, Kapilavastu. So, in case you don't know, Kapilavastu is where Buddha was born. <clears throat> I haven't read the series, so I cannot give, give an in-depth review of it. But this channel is not meant for in-depth review anyways, because you can get those on uh, Goodreads from various other people. I only mean to show you the artwork and how the book is constructed and so on, so that you it, it, it I can influence a little bit of you in buying, interest you in buying them. So, yeah. So this is book one. So I got, uh, before I start, I should tell you that I got it uh, for very cheap because the box was very battered. So I, I patched it up with cello tape. And uh, considering that I uh, am still a student, I'm a PhD research scholar, I do not earn very much. So I do not, I cannot oh, aim to get all the books I uh, review here first hand. So I usually get them second hand. And this is one of those series that I got second hand. So as you will see, this is uh, book one, Buddha by uh, Osamu Tezuka, and uh, yeah. So let's start with the actual review. So this is the spine, as you can see, and you can you can get the blurb at the back here. You can maybe pause it there. So onto the artwork. So if you have read books like um, uh, Astro Boy, so that is another seminal work of uh, Tezuka's. If you read books like Astro Boy, you will find that the artwork is quite similar to the artwork in in that. And uh, but yeah, it's very nice. I have seen quite a few people who do not like uh, Tezuka's Buddha, but I like as far as the artwork goes, I love it. I mean, overall, I love Tezuka's artwork, anyways. So that might be influencing my decision a little bit. That might have influenced my decision in buying it, buying the box set overall. But I think the whole series is very nice. So it's manga style, completely manga style, and um, how would I put it? signature Tezuka? Yeah. So that was book one. This is book two, the four encounters. So. So you'll see here it carries on with the same kind of artwork. So Tezuka is known for his signature kind of artwork and this is specifically that kind. And uh, this book as you can see it's, uh, it's a very interesting kind of book because there are a lot of mythological references here and uh, historical references as well but it's highly stylized and uh, made to suit the uh, manga artwork style so you can read the blurb here you can pause that maybe and read it if you want this is book 3 Dev Datta so and I'll give you the blurb beforehand yeah and that's the artwork again similar as you can see the my copies are starting to get a little foxed but it came that way so since I, I got it second hand the copies came a little foxed but um, the upside of that is I got it for very cheap so yeah this is book 4 uh, the forest of Uruvela so if you see all the books together here, three, four, um, they all line up to form a picture. Yeah. So I'll I'll give you the picture uh, overall picture as the uh, cover of the video. You can see that in the cover of the video itself. 
I'll not be putting these books back and showing you because that you can see that as you start before you start the video itself. So this is as you can see the journey. So it says Uttar Pradesh, that's part of India. And I live somewhere currently I live somewhere here. So that's Allahabad. I live here, I'm doing my PhD there, anyways. So yeah, again uh, the artwork. Very cute artwork if you ask me. I like the style. Yeah, but then maybe I'm biased. I don't know. So that was book. That was okay. <laughs> okay, I I reviewed book. I showed you book three again. So this is book four. Yeah, Forest of Ruvela. Okay, yeah, the artwork. And that's the blurb. <clears throat> We're going to book five. This book five. I love the cover work as well. The cover works for all of them are very interesting. Uh, so there's the deer park. I'll give you the blurb. And yeah. So yeah. So you can see the artwork is lavishly detailed in some of the panels. But overall the artwork is very clean. So it's, I like this kind of artwork, but then maybe because I've grown up with it, that might be one of the reasons. So this is book six, Ananda. Uh, that's the blurb at the back. And the, in a story. The artwork, book seven, Prince Ajata Sattu, and then you have the blurb. Let me see, it's not focusing well. Yeah, so there's a blurb, anyways. So you'll we'll see here. So the artwork is very funny as well in some parts, I'd say. Well, really like that. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish reading this this time around now that I'm in home. So these books are usually my kept in my home and I didn't get to take many of these back with me. So the last volume, volume 8, Jetavana. That's the blurb. And this concludes the saga of Buddha ending at Kapilavastu. So Buddha's life is very interesting uh, if you read it because he preached uh, the whole concept of Buddhism as peace. So he preached peace and um, but he led a very exciting life. <laughs> so yeah, that is the last volume. I'll show you the bookcase. So bookcase is fully covered with sellotape as you'll see but the artwork is very nice on the slipcase as well. So, try to get that. So on the back there's all 8 volumes. Uh, the cover of all the 8 volumes. And then there's a map somewhere I think. Yes, I think there's a map. Yeah. So yeah there's a map of Buddha's journey, the, it says the journey as well, covers Nepal, part of India, uh, yeah, so I think there's a part of Myanmar as well, no, West Bengal and Bihar, and India, so yeah, Himalayas and so on, and that's the book set, and those are all the books, and uh, yeah, so as always, any questions, anything, anything to say at all, feel free to, um, comment in the comment section below and uh, happy reading.